conscious thinkers welcome back to the god vibration Ooh. let's tap in let's tap in with some tarot we have three of pentacles at the bottom of the deck that could have to do with your career okay or your spiritual blueprint wheel of fortune your spiritual blueprint four of wands the magician king of cups death nine of wands the world three of swords ace of swords and last thing i'm saying is eight of wands okay so this is a nice place to open up i want to expand and see what messages I said this could be career related or something to do with your spiritual blueprint that could be one and the same okay we have here the four of wands and the magician something to do with interior decorating interior design some of you could be changing your career you could be you could be switching if this isn't just about career right take it for what it means you could be switching degrees or maybe taking up a, a certain study all right, I'm saying interior design. Don't take it so literally or do. This could even have to do with medicine, medicinal work. Because when I think of interior design, I think of the interior of your vessel. So something about healing homes healing homes you could be someone that works in charity or at some sort of home right whether you're a cleaner or you are you work in a home like for special kids or older persons it could be like a older folks home it's something about your energy you, you know how to take care of people you have patience you have patience with human beings right and then you also have patience with possibly material things you have patience so the careers in your life that are best suited for you are the ones where it does require more attention to underdeveloped or overdeveloped spaces because your energy can neutralize situations you're like a diffuser okay some of you could have just gotten a new diffuser in your home what you know heals homes it heals people you could even be like a medicinal teacher I'm hearing the word tincture tincture like an elixir so you could create healing tinctures healing potions healing medicines okay knowing how to mix certain herbs together um, knowing what to put on a wound knowing what plants are out there in nature and like you could go into 
the bush and like pull certain leaves and know which one is to boil for tea know which one is to you know put in the uh the the pestle and 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 mortar whatever it's called you you know which one to put on a wound you you know which one to smoke you know which one to you get what i'm saying you know which one to put in the diffuser it's like also womb healing you could be someone um like a midwife okay because those you could be someone that creates those vaginal herbal detox situations you get what i'm saying you know how to create a healthy balance in life which creates a healthy pH balance which is important in both male and female but for some reason I'm tapping into the female energy okay y'all gotta remember your health you have to remember your health is mixed into the energy it can be felt seen, smelt, um, and tasted, okay? So, and that goes for both male and female. <laughs> Baby, I just heard some of y'all don't even know how to wash it properly, right? Men and women. Y'all don't know. Okay, some of you fellas, you got to peel back all the skin. Get underneath the cusp of the head. Okay. <laughs> and the balls, the taint. Okay, I can't believe I'm saying these things right now. Females, all right, y'all know how to deal with that man in the boat? Do you? Do you know how to flap them things and then do a little smooth wipe, right? Don't go in. Don't fuck up the balance more than you're already possibly doing. All right, I'm trying to teach you folks. What you eat is important as well, right? Because that determines texture, texture, taste, smell, functionality, baby. We also have here the King of Cups and the Death card. Okay. This is heavy Scorpio energy. This could be some sort of transformation that a King of Cups is going through. And there's some sort of protection here with this Nine of Wands, this World card. It's some sort of transformation that can be seen so it's something that's happening physically that can be seen in the natural realm by others but there's a protection here so this is giving me um like the butterfly in the cocoon type of situation and this person coming out we emerged as their truest self okay the star the page of cups hold on okay so this fool the star the page of cups 
I feel like these are separate narratives. So take whatever is resonating with you because I'm just going to share what's coming out as it comes out, okay? I feel like there's a lot of people that are within this reading. Thank you for being here. Welcome to the God Vibration. This fool, this star, this page of cups, it's some sort of new journey that someone may be on, okay? This could be a single parent. This new journey, okay, this may be tying in with this energy. I said that there's some sort of possibly Scorpio energy here or a King of Cups energy. It doesn't have to be a Scorpio. It could be a Pisces. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. So... Yep. So this person could be a Sagittarius, could be an Aquarius again, could be, we'll say Cancer. I don't get Cancer. I don't know how come I'm not getting Cancer. This isn't Cancer. This is a Pisces. This is a Pisces. This King of Cups is a Pisces. This Death card. Is detailing this King of Cups energy. Which is a Pisces energy. Going through some sort of transformation. Or take it however it resonates. This person here. I don't know what's happening. This feels like confusion. It is. Look, the deck is upside down. This is confusion. This right here, what's happening, this is some sort of relationship. Okay, so this isn't your energy. I said there's a number of persons in here. So this seems to be someone's energy on the outside of you, but they're connected to someone. This is someone who is possibly connected to you but they're connected to someone of your past and within that connection right so this is someone of old and someone of present who are within your life in you know however way that happens but they're going back and forth with one another okay but for some reason, you're included in the narrative. This is almost like they're talking about you. So this is like, oh, okay. Someone from your past is trying to get information about you from someone that is currently connected to you. Okay, so that's why this confusion was happening because I'm like, who is this? What is this? What is that? What is that? This is someone trying to find out information about you by being connected to persons who they know are connected to you. And that's why I said it's like the discussion is about you. Um, but this is this isn't about you. You get what I'm saying? Their discussion may be about you, like that person, whoever it is that's trying to get information. So this isn't even necessarily a transformation that's happening within them. This is them, the death that's defining this King of Cups energy. This is like, so yeah, this is like a person who you ended this this is a severed situation this is someone that you were no longer in communication with and like i said so the information is trying to filter its way in in that way it may not be being done in a malicious manner it could be right people are people but we're going to go with this is a space where they're trying to heal. So sometimes when you are intuitive, when you are psychic, right, in a very deep way, you're able to tap into spaces that persons aren't necessarily trying to um, project towards you in that way. But because of your level of consciousness you're able to retrieve that data 
just by them being within your energetic field, right? And regardless of that, they're still inquiring about you behind your back, but again, it doesn't necessarily always mean that it's something negative. Sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. How are you going to react, right? Even if it is negative, what does that mean for your life? What does that mean for the dinner that you're going to eat tonight? What does that mean for the TV show that you're going to watch and enjoy? What does that mean for... What does that mean? Nothing. Okay. I'm going to clear. And then we'll tap in with some shaman. Am I going to clear this? Yeah, I am. I decided to keep the cards on the on the table to see how it ties in. But you know what I got just now? This person might not even be a male. This might be a female in King of Cups energy, right? Um, so I just wanted to add that. Just in case that may resonate with you. By the gate, bold step forward, number 55, a shuffle. We got Cosmic Womb, the Divine Feminine, number six. So we have five, six. And we have Dragon's Horde, Protecting the Future, number 12. So God has you seeing things very, very clearly. Look at that. Is that dream thing? Yes, it is. Like I said, people talking about you behind your back but again look at where it is in the deck you got to dig for that literally okay so this is the message that's coming through in order for things to really affect your future right for the negative things i should say because with divine protection this nine of wands this world this is protection this is a shield, right? That comes in the form of knowledge. That comes in the form of foresight. That comes in the form of spiritual gifts and senses. And um, all of these things that we tap into and we speak on, this is a reality. See, that part isn't the fantasy. That part is real. So those things they create that force field they create that energy of protection you know without even having to know and so that protects your future you have to dig in order to get to what it is that is wanting to affect you by the time the energy of whatever it is reaches you you're already within a new realm a different dimension and for those that understand that and and really tap in with energy you know exactly what i mean This is birth. I keep tapping in to very fertile energy. I'll just say that. I keep tapping into very fertile energy, womb energy, womb healing, um, childbirth, pregnancy. There is someone that is within the energy of pregnancy.
you're within the energy of pregnancy or you are within the energy of very heightened fertility like you are ripe for the picking baby even this this yes yes i don't 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 be on here playing baby that's what this is or and so that is a definite energy that is here that is a definite energy that is here pregnancy is here high fertility is here birth is on the way childbirth childbirth So time will reveal the truth of that. So, so that's for whoever needs that. <laughs> Netcaster preparations come to fruition. I'm serious. Somebody is freaking pregnant or getting pregnant. And, and yeah. I can't even, I can't even say... If that's not something that you want, then be careful. That's not what this space is. This is a space of this is your point. This is, that's your space to be in. This is what God is giving you. This is what God is gifting you. This is a part of your purpose here on this earth. This is happening. So now it is for you, whoever is feeling this in their soul. I was about to say in their solar plexus. Whoever is feeling this part of the message, understand that this is truth for you, okay? And allow that information to integrate into your reality so that you can make the necessary preparations for this. Let's tap in with some sacred forest. So I'm gonna keep these three cards here. Whoo, baby. God damn it, now I'm feeling it in my soul. Jesus, Jesus. Oh my God, what the hell? Uh, Be Spirit Prosperity, number five, is at the bottom of the deck, but I wanna shuffle. What else about it? Let's open up this message. Thicket of Thorns, Uncertainty, number 43. This is feeling like the energy of butterflies in your stomach. I feel like some of you have butterflies in your stomach when you received this message just now. Some of you could have been, my nose is itching, baby. Some of you could have been avoiding this truth. Wizard of the Woods, focus number 50. Like maybe you had, wow, maybe you had signs of it and you didn't want to take a test or like, oh my gosh, my nose. Y'all, y'all remember when my nose used to always be itching? This is like you didn't growth. Yes, yes ma'am. Yes ma'am. That belly gonna be growing, baby. Yes ma'am. Yes, sir. You sure did beg her up. You sure did get her pregnant. You sure did. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Some of you, like I said, you didn't want to find out for sure. You didn't want to take the test. You didn't want to get concrete evidence on it. Well, here it is for you. 
others of you who this isn't happened yet this is what is happening again if you're connecting to this this is something you're not escaping this you're not escaping this it doesn't matter if you're in and out or uh, of thoughts of it doubtful or unsure if you want it or not or it's a faded situation in your life and yes we do have the power to control things in our life and we also have things that are out of our control this is just what our reality is you did not decide to be a human being none of you did none of you did you didn't choose your parents you didn't choose yourself god damn it we didn't even choose our names so stop acting like you can know and do everything and if you don't want it then that's not what that's not what you're going to get and if you want it then that's what you're going to get that's not true the things that I thought that I wanted or I even be thinking that I do God be showing me I don't show God God shows me <laughs> God shows me I've made up in my mind about things that I don't want to go towards. People, places, things, energies, environments, all sorts of shit in my life. And I end up finding myself there again. Why? Because God told me, hey, get your ass where I told you to go. And I abide by that. Not by my own ego of me saying to myself, I don't want this. Or I do want this. Or blah, blah, blah. Right? Literally, as I was speaking, there was a wasp in here and I was just continuing to talk and the wasp came in looked in the mirror baby did a little 360 twirled around and flew out the he came through this window and left out the next but yeah I just wanted to be understood right a faded point in your life is exactly what it is a faded point and People be trying to defy nature, right? By taking things into their own hands and manipulating situations and whatever to, again, defy who they actually are meant to be, who they were created to be. We obey the creator. You know? And the creator said you were meant to create. This is a part of your creations. Bringing life into the world. I didn't even mean to do that. And when I did that, one, two, three, four was on the clock. I feel like this was a confirmation reading for someone um, that you needed this, that this is coming in divine time for you. And again, if this isn't something that is in your current space, this message will come back to you in the timing that it needs to. It may come back to you again as reminders and then it will come back to you again in the time that it will be truly existing within in form for some of you that is right now right so congratulations um that's going to be this message because that turns so specific and it makes me feel like again this almost feels like a personal message to someone all right so there you go i hope that everyone was able to learn something from this and i will speak to you all in the next one